my worker. I'm concerned because you're recording her. She's your worker? Yes. Oh, I thought she worked for the public. I have no idea who that is, and I am freaked the f out. Oh. Come on, please. Hi, this is Kristen calling. I work over at DCYF on Water Street. We have um, Mark, who's been, um, we've been involved in for a little bit. He's standing outside of our glass door. It's a, kind of a protected part of our building, recording us. I think you need to leave. Oh, no, I actually have business here, and you're not going to tell me what to do. I just did. No, well, we'll see who stands here last, huh? He's up here, and he's recording inside of our secure building. Part. There's Amanda. Like, standing outside our locked facility with his camera recording. So he can't stand there while I'm talking to other people. He can stand in this room. He can stand in this room, but he can't stand at the window. Yes, I can. Can you go to 17 Water Street, DCYF? Set a male subject in a secure part of their building, uh, videotaping. So if somebody else comes in here with the camera and they don't know who they are again, you're going to call the police? Nope, but if somebody's roaming around on our fourth floor, uh -huh. it makes us a little nervous. All right, so. I'll look into having somebody do that then. And Coming we'll challenge around. it. What's yeah. going on, everyone? This is Press NH Now over here today at the state office entrance and building in Claremont, New Hampshire, and DCYF and Department of Health and Human Services. Today we're going to be conducting a First Amendment audit to see if they respect our rights to film here in public. Today's date is November 8th, 2022. Please make sure you go like, share, and subscribe to my channel at Press NH Now. I appreciate all the support. Also, check out my playlist to see some videos you might not have seen in the past. Hit that like button, let all your friends and family know about my activism in and around the New England area. Always check the description, all links will be included. Donations are greatly appreciated. They do help me continue my activism in and around the New England states. We're gonna get right to it here, guys. Enjoy the video. This is uh, DCYF in this office? Yeah, they're upstairs, but they don't have a lobby, so you have to give them a call. I have to give them a call? Do you need to speak to somebody in DCYF? Yeah, I wonder if uh, Amanda's here. Um, so you go over to that phone and call the DCYF extension. What, what's the extension? It's the third one down. It's the black lettering. Okay. okay. And you said it's not publicly accessible up there? It's not publicly accessible. What's up there? Just offices? Just offices. Okay. So if I take the stairs or the elevator to the fourth floor, it won't allow me in? They'll allow you, they'll allow you to that floor, but you can't get into their office. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go take a look at it then. Yeah, I'd like to speak with somebody face to face. Well, they'll answer if somebody can come down and speak to you. Okay. They won't allow you up there to speak to somebody. Okay. Okay. So uh, I, yeah, I can figure that out. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Hi. No, I'm just... Oh. She's my worker. I'm because you're recording her. She's your worker? Yes. Oh, I thought she worked for the public. She, I hired her. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. What's your name? You want to call DCYF or you, would you like us to? I, I can handle it, yeah. Okay. So what was your name? My name's Darcy. Darcy, and what's your position here? I'm a supervisor. Supervisor of what office? Department of Health and Human Services. Okay, cool. Do you have a business card? I do not. They don't give you one? No. Okay. Why are you so concerned about me recording? Are you guys doing something wrong? No. Oh. We haven't been recorded before, so. No? no. Well, first time for everything, right? Well, it's also Voters Day, so who the hell knows? When, you know, Voters Day? This isn't where you vote. No, it's not. It's... Well, what's that have to do with anything? Nothing. We... Never mind. It's the governor's building, so. The governor's? This is the governor's building? Well, he doesn't own it, but the state does. Oh, okay. Do you need. This is. Uh, okay. I can handle it, ma'am. Thank you. It's not going to get me out of here any quicker. You're going to call the police? So instead of me educating you, you want them to? 
because they'll teach you all about public photography. Just go about your business, ma'am. I have my business, you have yours. All right, let's go up to DCYF at the Claremont, New Hampshire office. Oh wow, that's real professional. Hello. Hey, what's up, man? Oh. How you doing? Oh, you're the public nurse? Yeah. <laughs> she should probably watch her language, huh? That's disorderly conduct. So there's their attorney, DCYF's attorney. Huh, interesting. Hi. Hey, good morning. Good. Hi, how are you? What's your name? Hi. Um, so is Amanda here? Ma'am? Ma'am, is Amanda here? I need to speak with her. I have paperwork to drop off. Okay. Hi. Um, is Amanda here? I need to drop off some paperwork. Hi. Hi. I can get in and um, get the paperwork to him. Yeah, Did is she? I, I do, but is she here? Uh, that I don't know. Can we you find know? out? Um, yep, you gotta stay here though. Yeah, no, I, I understand. There's restricted areas. I, yes. I, I got it. Um, okay, go ahead. What was your name? My name is Temple. Temple? Yep. Yeah. That's different. What's your name? I, I'm not going to give that information right now. Okay, so if I have to tell Amanda, I have to have at least your first name. Okay, it's Mark. Mark? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, you're calling the police, eh? Good luck with that. Hello, please. Hi, this is Kristen Damaris calling. I work over at DCYF on Water Street. We have um, Mark, who's been, um, we've been involved in for a little bit. He's standing outside of our glass door. It's a, kind of a protected part of our building, recording us through the glass door. Um, I don't know if that's like, a lot. I mean, he really shouldn't be up here. Um, is it a? Is he in a public part of the building? Yeah, it's kind of hard. I mean, I guess he's supposed to. I mean, visitors are supposed oh, there to check in on the third floor, which he didn't do. So he's up here and he's recording There's inside Amanda. our secure building part, like standing outside our lot. Hi, Amanda. With his camera recording inside. <laughs> okay. I, um, and sorry, what was your name? Kristen Damaris. Spell your last name. D E S as in Sam. M A R A I S. So, only people waiting should be in that room? Honestly, nobody should. It's a weird. Our building is okay. kind of really interesting. Okay, I've never been up there. Yeah, so. it's, it's, okay. it's, it's odd. It's. it's it's not closed, I guess, to the public, okay. but he's Amanda Lobianco, videotaping DCYF. inside of our secure building. Okay, all right. I will uh, have somebody go that way. Thank you so much. Yep, thanks. Bye-bye. Hi, Mark, uh, 35. Go ahead. Can you go to 17 Water Street, DCYF? 
Put a male subject in a secure part of their building, uh, videotaping. You trying to get it? Carver. Oh, no, I actually have business here, and you're not going to tell me what to do. No, well, we'll see who stands here last, huh? And you're the attorney? You should probably retire, but I heard all about your, uh, your, uh, health. Um, I have some paperwork I gotta drop off. I could drop it off right here. You can guys can meet me and take my paperwork. What was your name again? Do you not understand? You obviously don't understand what I do yet, do you? You're the attorney? Did you call the police? Are they on their way? Because I don't want to run away. Okay, I'll just wait around for them, I guess. So here's Claymont PD. Boxster, what's up, buddy? Damn, man, I thought they'd been waiting for me to come here. Why is every time I'm videoing out here, it's you? You know, I couldn't be more happier to see you, though. Why is that? Well, I'm just trying to conduct my business here, and uh, I got legitimate uh, paperwork I got to drop off, legal documents, mm -hmm. and um, they're refusing to take it. Very well. I'll go touch base with them and see what's going on and see what we can do for you. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's very simple. You know, the fastest... They uh, they take my serv you know, my documents the faster I'm out of here. It's they don't understand, you know that. I'm, it's actually it's that, that yeah, it's that one, yeah. Yeah. What they uh, what was the call about? Uh sounds like disturbance, what? disorderly. You know, sounds like from what the call came in. I gotta let you know I'm out of here before you yeah, as well. I appreciate that. Um what sounds like from what the call came in as is that there was a man Yeah. Most likely you you know it's cool to find out. Yeah. Uh, videoing in a restricted area. A restricted area. Oh wow. Okay. We'll find out. Yeah. Let's let's find out. Um, we'll make assumptions here, so we're gonna go. Yeah. Calling so it's actually the on. fourth floor. Um, so they have like a small procedure, stating that you know you get a call from the third floor. Um, DCYF is on the fourth. Um, four. Yeah. So they're on the fourth floor. I'm pretty sure they called. They were actually pretty well on the third floor. I mean. Okay. They were like, as long as you don't threaten us and, you know, we don't, we won't call the police. I'm like, yeah, I, I'm not going to threaten you. Um, but then I went upstairs, you know, didn't call. I went upstairs, drop off my paperwork and I was going to leave. And then all, I, you, all you had to do was drop off paperwork or did you pick up paperwork too? Uh, actually, I was going to ask about a disclosure of, of some information. Yeah, that, yeah. Right. So. Well, let's go find out. Yeah, man. Let's, let's go. So you've probably been up here more than I have. Right? I have never been here, oh, okay. I, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I mean, obviously it's restricted in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? But this is all public, man. They can't restrict me from this. I don't see any signage. This is any, any other ones. Me neither, man. And even if they put it up, it's still publicly accessible. Yeah. You know. So. I... I'm surprised they uh, they even bothered. I figured that they already knew what I do. Do you mind if I go talk to them? I don't mind. Yeah, do your thing, man. I'm not stopping you.
Yeah, of course, yeah. It's it's like I said, it's not publicly accessible, you know. Oh, come on, don't say unfortunately. But I do, I do need help though. Yes, they are. All they need to do is take this, give me a copy, and then Amanda has paperwork for a disclosure. That's yeah. sounds like that's you know, it. You just got to go to the third floor and, and touch base with them downstairs to call up here. Well, I guess look at this. It's like <laughs> this looks like this is the the brains. Of all, the they, all they literally have to do is come out here, take my paperwork, yeah. make a copy, right? Give it back to me, and I'll leave. That's it. They're gonna do the same thing downstairs. They just don't want me up here. You know what I mean? But like I said, as soon as they get this done, the faster I'm out of here. Well, sounds like we can go take care of that downstairs, but. Uh, okay. I said until they, and I'm sure you were hurt when I did I, that. I did, and I appreciate that, so, you know. And it's, once they want to cover that up. Yeah, and they have every right to. I mean, you know, I have no problem with that. Yeah, just like they have the right to walk the door. Exactly. For whatever reason, if I'm sure. What's your name again? If it's restricted. Gilboy. Gilboy. I don't think I've ever got, I've seen you a hundred times. Don't think I've ever gotten your name. Yeah, he's, uh, huh. you've gotten O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. The K, you're the K-9 too, right? You're the other no, K? No. Oh, okay. No, that's uh, P Petra. Okay. Yep. Yeah. But I don't make the rules of this joint. If they say you gotta come down here for the right, for well. your reception stuff, that's that's well, the bottom line, I guess. But. All right. So there's a telephone over here. I mean, it's just silly because all they're gonna do is come down here, and yeah, no, that's the Department of Health and Human Services. Imagine you walk up to them and say, "This is what I need to do." They said to come over here. Who did the they did. The dump? Yeah. So I don't even know what extension it is. Uh, right here, on three, four. No, I mean, you know what I'm doing, man. And I, you know, you told them what I was doing, and like I said, as soon as they get my paperwork all settled, I'm out of here. You know, but this is why I record. BS like that. <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's all over the place, man. It is. Hey, have it going, man. Be safe, all right. Yes, I can. Did, let, can I just give you a little bit of advice? And I'm sure they might say the same thing. You're probably referring to like HIPAA. And, and Okay. So the onus of that HIPAA law and policy is on you to violate, not me. I cannot legally violate that law. Right, but I can't because so, my job. Yes, you can. you're standing there, no, I can't. Okay. So if there's private information, you need to keep that as private as you can. Right. Okay. Not me. If You'd be violating HIPAA if you gave out that information. Not me. Right. But so I try to protect that. And not give any information out waiting for you to stand there. 
So, I'm sitting, so what are you gonna do, stand there for seven hours? If I really wanted to, legally, I can. Am I going to? Probably not. Right. That's what you need to understand. But, and I'm trying to be as polite as possible, okay? The HIPAA laws apply to you, not me. The onus of that responsibility to keep those documents private is you. I get that, but you need to keep that private, not me. And that's my advice to you. I get where you're coming from. I understand where you're coming from. I have respect for people's private information. That's exactly why there's laws in place for you to protect them. Mm -hmm. But you need to understand that I cannot violate that law. You are the only one that can. So keep them as private as possible. I see you have a piece of paper right there for like social security numbers and so forth. People don't have to verbalize that, right? So therefore they write it down and then they give it to you and there goes the privacy is protected. Right. So those and are the different also on the phone all day long too speaking okay. to people. Yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean then you need to look into your job description and, and try to figure it out the best way you can to pr- protect those privacy. That's that's all I can tell you. Can it, it's not that? ridiculous. If you can't keep them private, that's ridiculous. Am I wrong on the HIPAA thing? I don't think I am. I can't legally violate HIPAA laws, they can. But that's another reason why I do this, is so they actually do protect people's privacy. You know what I mean? They yelling out numbers and socials all day long with people just standing here without a camera. They should actually be more protective of that with a camera, so. I've already explained it. I'm not here for them anyway. I've already done my thing here. They said you're okay as long as you don't threaten us and everything else, so I'm just literally just trying to get my down upstairs. Like I said, I have a legal document here. I mean, other than this purpose, I have this purpose. So, multi purpose. No, they didn't. No, they're probably, they're probably going to refuse. Phone call literally just go up to the next Yeah. Yeah. Well, the extension does. So now they're going to refuse services. So, I, I don't know. Hey there. Hi. Thank you for I literally need to drop off paperwork. <laughs> Why couldn't you do that 25 minutes ago? Well, we have a procedure. You had to come to well, the third floor and check in. I don't care Here's about your procedure. Well, I'm happy to take your paperwork. Can I get a copy signed and dated? It's a subpoena. And also, Amanda might or might not have paperwork for the disclosure of the case. So I kind of need a copy of that. Okay, let me... Um, but so this is literally copy. as easy as it could have been. It, I would have been out of here like literally 25 minutes ago. We have procedures set up for a reason. So. Well, I don't have to follow I those will, procedures. Well, I mean, I do I to a point. But for you and give this back they called me. Second, okay? You guys know I'm allowed up there. Do you have a business card, ma'am? Well, I, I do not have one on me. But okay. I can, give you my can you? Yeah. Can you name, email, please? Why? You said I don't have to follow your procedures. Well, that's their procedures, so. <laughs> I mean, I, all, all they're going to do is come down here, right, just like they did. But, I mean, I can go up there and say, look, I have paperwork. Here you go. See you later. You know, it's no different. I mean, this is actually slowing down people's process. It, it, this is slower than what I could have done. I'm sure they do what they do for some reason. I'm sure everybody can just walk up there and get <laughs> papers to the door and stuff. What's the difference? I'm going to go back up there when you leave. I just need to copy. Like, if you, yeah, if you just copy it and then give me whatever copy and then just okay. sign it saying you received it. Where would you like me to Anywhere. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Just sign and date saying received. It, it, you could put it on the back or the front. I don't care. Yeah. I just don't want them saying that they lost it. You know, I mean, you told them exactly everything that they needed to be told, you know. I mean, they want privacy? Create it. There's no, yeah, there's yeah, and it's so simple, man. You know, you guys come in here and you just do your thing. And you tell them exactly what I'm doing, and then we all leave. You know. It's the way it I've been waiting a long time to come to this office. Oh really? Yeah, I'm surprised that they even called you. I figured that they already know what I do. They're just kind of prepared, waiting for me to come here at some point. You know, and here we are. I, I really, I didn't even bring my scanner because I didn't think they were going to call you that much. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about that. I was like, oh, you're probably, you're probably waiting for us. No, I didn't Cause expect came, it. Because you came out with the parking lot, so yeah, I must have heard that we came out. No, so no. Come awesome. Yeah, All right. And I just, just so you work. Okay. Information. Awesome. Yes. Thank you. All right.
I, they shouldn't have been called in the first place. You literally wasting resources. There's crime out there in Claremont. Not here. This is there's no crime committed, man. This is all failings enforcement. There isn't, but that's why we came and we looked into what was going on. Yep. We found out what was going on. We yep. educated what was going on. Yep. And then you and I have just been talking. Casually. It's it's not the lesson on you guys that need to learn. It's yeah. them. But you know what I mean? If we're not arresting people or people aren't committing crimes, we can still educate the public or the private sector, whatever you have. Public, they, no, public sector. Well, they know now, don't they? You think they'll call you again? I would hope that they're going to go cover that window up if they have a big problem. <laughs> you know what? I would be surprised if they did. Because they're just arrogant sometimes. Good. You know? If your eyeballs can look in there, so can your camera. That's it, man. You know? If only every officer can be like Puck stuff. Right. <laughs> That's pretty common sense, man. It's not, though. Like, you uh, see my videos, man. You, you see how they react to... Oh, you're disorderly. You're stopping them from doing their job. You need to leave. You're trespass. You know? It's like, come on. No, I'm not. If anything, they're interfering with what I'm doing. <laughs> it, it, it is. They're actually slowing down the process so much right now that they're wasting you guys' time to be here when they should already... They already know what I do. They know 100% what I do. They just... I, I can't believe they've even gone this far with you guys. Like, they actually called. And I'm... To be honest, I'm surprised that you guys couldn't have just been like, hey, he's allowed to do what he's doing as long as they're not restricted area. Get his paperwork well, I mean, done. That's just the main thing was that since they said that you were filming in a restricted area. See, that's how they get you out here. Sure, but... Because if they said I was in a publicly accessible area, then they have nothing to go on. Yeah, but we... It's not. That's fine. It'll be ready hopefully in the next week or so. Or I could just stop in again. That's fine. Whatever you want to do. Um, I just hope that next time I come here... This doesn't so have to happen. Let me just give you, I don't know who you are, right? I've never met you before. Hello, please. Hi, this is Kristen Damaris calling. I work over at DCYF on Water Street. We have um, Mark, who's been, um, we've been involved okay. in for a while. I thought I've seen you before. Nope. Okay. So when I see a, a strange person in my lobby, right, we do a pretty this scary This is a public's job, lobby. Though. But upstairs, when I, it's pretty scary, so. A camera scary? Anybody roaming around, camera or not. Yeah. Can be scared. So if I knew who you were, if I said, oh, that's just Mark, let me go talk to him. I've never met you before. Do you know how many offices I've gone to they have no idea who I am? Yeah. So maybe just start And they know that. who I am. Amanda knows yeah. exactly who I am. Okay? The attorney knows exactly who I am. Okay. The other lady that walked... Any of that. So I'm just letting you know where I was coming from. So I'm happy to meet with you anytime. Are you a supervisor or something? I am a supervisor. You are. Okay. Yeah. I'm happy to meet with you anytime. Just, you've got my information. Yeah. Let me know. All right. So if somebody else comes in here with the camera and they don't know who they are again, you're going to call the police? Nope, but if somebody's roaming around on our fourth floor, uh -huh. it makes us a little nervous. All right, so. I'll look into having somebody do that then. And roaming we'll challenge around. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because the day. resources need to stop being called out here. I mean, they have better stuff to do. That's what you need to understand. We have a right to do this, if you like it or not. Well, you're right. And we obviously, we're here, I'm having a conversation. I mean, I wasn't banging up. I wasn't banging on the door. I wasn't being disorderly. I wasn't stopping you from doing your job. All right, Mark. No laws being yeah. broken. Come on. Get it together, well, will you? The not for them, so that's why they call. Oh. They're just going to look silly on YouTube now. So. Hey, that's their prerogative. All right, well. They I want to go down with that shit, whatever. Yeah, hey. Well, that's, <laughs> you guys look great. They look bad. Here we go again, right? That's what happens. We get cold, and we have to go and ah. dispel the, the complaint that's at hand. Okay, so yeah, if I, they say you're breaking the law by filming in a restricted area, our job is to come and investigate. Do you see how they twist that narrative, though? They know that's not a restricted area. I'm assuming that what they thought yeah. was that you filming through the window was not allowed. They but know now, in don't they? specific circumstance, if they don't want the window, if they don't want their inside of their office being filmed, yeah. they can put up a curtain and put polka dots on it for all well, I care. I you know. would think that would be common sense, right, Puxa? <laughs> Some people... All right, man. Well, I appreciate you coming out again, educating the uh, the public here again. So it is. All right, have it going. All right, let's go see if they've learned, and they have. They've put paper up. They didn't do a very good job. Let's 
It's like they failed first grade math class. Hi, Amanda. Oh, Ooh, excuse me. No, that's okay. How's it going? Sorry about that. It's all right. I didn't see you there because they blocked the window, you know? Yeah, I know. I probably see you. Uh, are you a DCYFR guy? Yeah, I am. Oh, nice. What do you just do, like uh, intake or something? I'm just working with families. Yeah, all right. To... Not destroying lives, are you? What's that? Not destroying lives, are you? The system stuff, bro. But I'm, I'm kind of you work for it, though, man. I do. You know, just do your investigations, man, 100%. You Sometimes know? it's better to work with the system and try to do a good job. For well, me. you know what's crazy is, right? And I'm not, I don't want to take too much of your time, just real quick, is that, you know, you guys get a call about something and you guys have to investigate. And all of a sudden, that family is like completely broken up over accusations. You know what I mean? It, it's insane, man. More families are being broken by DCYF than they are being fixed. So just, you know, keep that, keep that in mind, man. <laughs> if you want to do the right thing, just do the right thing. All right? Thank you, buddy. All right, everybody. So that's gonna be it over here today at the state office entrance and building in Claremont, New Hampshire for the Department of Health and Human Services and DCYF office in Claremont, New Hampshire for our First Amendment audit. Um, went on to the third level, DHHS. Um, they were a little um, backed off by the camera and uh, they weren't um, they weren't too bad until I went upstairs uh, to DCYF and um, they completely flipped out about my camera um, and also uh, Amanda Lobianco uh, I had paperwork to drop off to her uh, regarding a, uh, a, a situation um, that I was looking into and also um, the attorney uh, told me that you know I couldn't record and so forth. Uh, he is actually the attorney. I'll put all the information in the description and in the video for you guys to redress if you need to. And then um, the Claremont Police Department, Puxta, and the other officer came, educated the uh, staff here, um, as they should have already known. Uh, they're very familiar with my channel and what I do, so I'm surprised that uh, this office even acted the way they did. But that's going to be it over here today. I appreciate all your support. Please make sure you go like, share, and subscribe to my channel at Press NH Now. Also, check out my playlist to see some videos you might not have seen in the past. Hit that like button. Let all your friends and family know about my activism in and around the New England states. Always check the description. All links will be included. Donations are greatly appreciated. They do help me continue my activism in and around the New England area. Until the next one, guys, Press NH Now. Over and out.